Joining us now, and Josh, uh, talk a little bit about 7-0. Uh, and 0. Uh, What's been the big key for Busco to uh, have the success that you've had week in and week out here in 2011? Uh, same thing every week. We get a uh, good game plan for each team, uh, working hard. We've been having a lot of good practices. I think uh, we've been really motivated. Talk about this game against Fairfield, because uh, judging from the coach's shirts, you guys haven't forgotten the last five times that you faced the Falcons. How much motivation does that give you heading into Friday night? Oh, a lot. Uh, this is a game we look forward to every year. We haven't beat them in uh, six or so years, and uh, we're going to be ready to play this week. What do you know about Fairfield, and what do you guys think you can uh, take advantage of? And what are going to be some of the big challenges Friday night against the Falcons? Um, the biggest thing is the mental battle. Uh, but Fairfield's a really good, hard-nosed running team. They also can pass pretty good, too. So uh, we're just going to have to bring our A game. As far as you guys go, talk about um, you know the replace. You have stepped up to a bigger role. Uh, Mr. Nicodemus stepped up to a big role with both Kyles leaving, uh, graduating. Um, talk a little bit about how you guys have been able to kind of fill those voids and what you've been able to do offensively so far this season because you're averaging 40 points a game. Yeah, I think it's uh, um, our offense is so diverse. Uh, you can't key in on one thing. Uh, like you said, Nico's been doing real good up the middle, and then we got some outside runs. I think uh, that's the biggest thing is keeping uh, teams guessing. All right. Anything else you'd like to add? No, nope, that's it. All right. Appreciate it, my man. Thanks.